In the last 10 summers, the Brazilian state of Sao Paulo registered 223 deaths due to the floods. Mm -hmm. This problem is every time more frequent because of climate change. Specialists assure the situation also exposes the deficiencies of the housing policies in Brazil. Deaths by flooding and mock slides in Sao Paulo increased by 34 and evacuated or displaced families now tally up for 5,277. According to the United Nations, the heavy rains are 0.3 more frequent and 6.7% more intense. Extreme weather events find an environment vulnerable to catastrophes due to the lack of urban planning and housing programs that today are at the hands of speculative real estate companies. It is impossible for the people who have minimum wage, even those with two, to access housing programs. So we have no land and no place for people to build their own houses in well-located areas. Add to that the lack of housing policies that include this sector of the population. As a result, there are plenty of irregular areas for the most vulnerable families, territories with environmental frailty and where the market cannot enter. After the mudslides, President Jair Bolsonaro blamed the victims. In many of these areas where the houses were built, there was a lack of future planning, just like people build in these at-risk areas out of necessity. Sao Paulo has 132,000 properties in high-risk areas, and Joao Doria's government uses less than its 2021 budget for infrastructure against floods. At a federal level, Bolsonaro cut off all of the popular housing programs like Minha Casa, Minha Vida. Also, families who benefited from these initiatives launched during Rousseff's administration do not have the resources anymore to keep their houses. 76% of Brazilian families are indebted. Many families got out of these areas at risk. They went to that housing program, and since they couldn't stay there, they went back to the areas at risk. But once they go back, they happen to do so in worse areas than before. Extreme weather events are increasingly frequent and mostly affect low-income families who, due to the lack of housing policies, face more and more danger each year in areas of high environmental risk.